what's going on everybody welcome back let's make this flavorful curry black eyed peas with plain rice and sauteed kale so here i have two cups of dried black eyed peas that i'm going to rinse off a bit to remove any bad peas any debris or stones Once you're done, add some fresh water, salt, and cook over a medium heat until tender. Black eyed peas don't take that long to cook so you want to constantly check this after a few minutes check it to see if your peas are cooked all right now right here my peas not cooked so i'm going to give this a few more minutes once the peas cook go ahead and drain the excess liquid and I also went ahead and I cut up some fresh seasonings, you know, the usual right here have some ginger that I'm going to grate her, scallion, garlic, a whole scotch bonnet pepper, thyme, onion, and a piece of carrot. Now, big up to Caribbean Kitchen for sending me these curry powders. I absolutely love them. So if you're interested, I will put a link down below in the description where you can purchase these seasonings. Add some oil to your pot. Once it's heated properly, go ahead and add the garlic, saute for about a minute, followed by the curry powder. I'm going to allow the curry powder to burn our toast for about another minute. And as mentioned earlier, I'm using both curry powder, the mild and the hot. After about a minute, go ahead and add the black eyed peas, give this a good stir, add some water and the seasonings. The black eyed peas will soak up most of the moisture. So to replace that, and especially for those who love them gravy, you can add some water with a little bit of oil. The spice blend in this curry powder is so flavorful and concentrated that I'm going to allow this to simmer down a bit for about 8 minutes before I add any additional seasonings if needed. Over a medium heat, cover your pot and as I said, give this about 8 minutes because the peas cook already, we just want to bring the flavors together at this point, alright? A few minutes later, I'm going to taste to see if I need any additional seasonings or salt. And I added some nature season, just a little bit of nature season. Honestly, this thing is so flavorful. So you can either add a touch of all purpose seasoning or salt. After you have adjusted the taste of which you're liking, turn off your stove and allow the heat from the pot to continue to bring the flavors together. Let's move on to the rice. Here I have a pot of water. I added thyme, grapeseed oil, which is optional, and salt. I'm going to bring this to a boil before adding the rice. I'm using basmati rice but you can use whatever rice of your choice and rinse it off a bit before you add it to your pot. Over a medium heat, cover your pot and allow your rice to steam. Let's move on to the kale. Here I have some chopped garlic and onion that I'm going to saute for about a minute or two. So 
so for the kale i just wanted to sweat down a bit nothing major i still want it to remain vibrant and a bit crunchy So this is perfect for me right here it's still vibrant and have a nice crunch to it the rice is ready i'm going to fluff it up a bit and remove the thyme so everything is prepared let's share out a nice plate That's it my people, this entire plate of food was delicious, simplicity at its best. But the curry black eyed peas here won the prize, so flavorful. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you're trying to enjoy this recipe. And until next time, bless upon yourself.